Mr. Ali, why did you pick network marketing? I was also, uh, you know, skeptical. I think a lot of people are skeptical. Yo, say to What's up mga Kayebo mates? Welcome back to, uh, to my channel. This is Brian G in the place to be your daily dose of energy. So today episode mga kapatid, you know who's the guy beside me guys. And what's the big deal? He's the former celebrity and PBA basketball player. Walang iba kundi si Mr. Ali Peek. Who's Ali Peek before basketball? Yeah. I was an 80s kid, a 12, 13 year old kid. Um, I never got into basketball until around 1988. And it's just mm -hmm. one day I woke up and I said, I'm going to be a professional basketball player at the age of 12 or 13 years old. Wow, you have the vision already. The vision was there, uh -huh. you know, long before I knew what law of attraction meant. Mm -hmm. So I was already um, envisioning myself walking up on stage, putting on a hat. Uh -huh. Putting on a jacket yeah. and becoming, uh, whether it's an NBA player or a professional basketball player, I, I saw it. Uh -huh. I saw it at 12, 13 years old. I even saw myself signing autographs. I did not know what Law of Attraction was, mm. but um, you no matter already what, visualized I already it. Said, what was your first team here in the, in the Philippines, my first in team, PBA? My, my first opportunity was with the RFM Corporation Group, mm -hmm. Joey. Uh, uh, Joey Concepcion was my very first boss uh -huh. uh, for RFM Corporation, which was Sunkiss, Pop Cola, uh, Swift. All right. So that was the first team I played for. I was with them for three years, and then I, I got tra uh, traded yeah. to Alaska, the Alaska Aces. Oh. So that was a grander stage for me. Uh -huh. And so for the next four and a half years, I played for Alaska, and then I was traded to Coca-Cola. Uh -huh. And then after that, talk and sex, talk and, and the rest is history. Yeah. yeah, but you made the big, the biggest breakthrough in your life was in Talk and Tex? Um, yeah, Talk, talk and, Tex. and Tex. That's where I won the most championships. Ali, what was your greatest lesson learned from playing in the PBA that you or in the basketball career? That you never stop learning. Never stop you learning. Never stop learning. Yeah, you, Why? Um, well, even at 36, 37, you know, there's, there was a lot of lessons to to, to be learned. There was mm -hmm. uh, hard pills to swallow. At that point, we decided mm -hmm. not to take the road less traveled. We did not follow the blueprint that we had been following that made us successful all those years. Mr. Ali, why did you pick network marketing? I was also, um, you know, skeptical. I think a lot of people are skeptical. I started doing research, and this is the most research I'd ever done when it came to network marketing, and realizing that a lot of the people that I follow, a lot of the people that, uh, like books that I've read, yes, people such as Robert Kiyosaki, it, he talks about it in some of his books, that he, at one point he joined um, a network marketing group. Yeah. And he became very successful at it. Yes. Uh, if someone is looking for a fast track in life, yeah. network marketing, and this is from Bob Proctor, mm -hmm. someone who I listen to a lot, he talks, he's money manifestation, um, you know, repeating to yourself over and over again um, what, you, what your goals are. One of the fastest tracks to financial freedom, believe it or not, is network marketing. Network yeah. marketing. So the problem is, is that yeah. many of us, and I'm, I fall victim to it, yeah. is nothing's an easy path. Exactly. You know, nothing's an easy path, and you, you just, you got to go through it. The one thing that's interesting also is that people are joining mm -hmm. and they're becoming successful. Yes. That's another factor. That's another indicator for me. Yes. yes. Okay, that's right. Network marketing is so legit. One of the, the biggest lessons that I've learned is patience. Uh, in business, also uh, you got to do your due diligence. You have to do your yes. research, you know. True. Uh, and never, never make any decisions with money, especially uh, with emotion. <laughs> so, True. Don't be um, just emotional, yeah, right? Yeah. And I, you know, I tell you what, you know, I, I made, I made, I believe me, I've made a lot of financial errors. You know, uh, educating yourself, educating True. yourself, and, and uh, you know, again, that's part of the redefining. Uh, 
Um, I've been successful, mm -hmm. but I've also fallen. Been successful again, mm -hmm. but also fallen. And you know, for me, my mentality is, mm -hmm. um, it's okay to make mistakes as long as you learn from the mistakes. Um, that's that's your best teacher. You sure. know, failure is your best teacher. Why did the PBA industry name you? Oh. Ali the man mountain. I, I think it has a lot to do with my last name, uh, uh -huh. last name Peak. Although uh -huh. the mountain Peak is spelled with an A, not uh -huh. two E's, okay. right? So my last name is two E's. All right. uh, I don't know who came up with that, but for whatever reason, it stuck. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, just it. Yeah, you know, people call me that. Yeah. My teammates, the even man now, mountain. Even uh -huh. now, I'm retired. Uh, people off the street call me that. My teammates who are retired, they oh. still call me that. What's the man mountain mentality? In my mind, I, I really believe to keep us keep ourselves motivated, we have to play mind games with ourselves just a little bit. Yeah. You know, um, give ourselves a reason to be extra motivated that day. I was constantly doing that with myself when I was playing basketball. Even though I had mm -hmm. options if basketball wasn't on the table, the thought process was a combination of drive, determination, fear of if I don't make this work, I have nothing. And and I'm going to lose everything. Exactly. That was the mentality that I had every single practice, every single game. Yeah. If I don't make this successful for myself and for my family, mm -hmm. coach is going to find someone else to do it. I have to redefine myself. I have to mm -hmm. redefine my game. What is the one thing that I know is going to help my team out? Um, so I started doing the dirty work. I started playing the defense, blocking shots, getting uh -huh. rebounds. Um, every once in a while I have 14, 15 points, but I was, I was defending the paint. I was protecting the basket and that's what they needed. Mm -hmm. And that's when, that's what's part of the success. It wasn't the main reason, but it was part of the success. Mm -hmm. And the message there was, was sacrifice. 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 And, um, and uh, you know, supporting my team, you know, letting those guys shine mm -hmm. because the ultimate goal was to win, was to win a championship. Yeah. If you guys are learning in this video, kindly like this uh, uh, channel, click the bell button, and you will get notified, right? Ali, where your name came from? Oh, well, my, my real name is Albert. Uh, oh Albert, really, yeah. Albert. Albert? From now on, I will call you yeah, Albert. You know, I, mean, <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's I don't, you know, Albert. But Albert, uh, I, okay. You know, my Ali came from my grandfather, my Lolo. He's the Filipino. Oh. He's, uh, you know, extraordinary. He retired lieutenant colonel. Um, his name is Henry mm -hmm. uh, Tanagan Kalukug, and I was very, very close to him. Uh, Ali, after the basketball career. What's your life after being a celebrity? Well, I, I would, you know, celebrity, yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's sort of like icing on the cake. Uh -huh. you know, I never really, even till now, I don't consider myself a celebrity. That's just what people mm -hmm. see me as. Um, but I tell you, you know, when I retired, I retired in 2014. Uh -huh. I became a sports broadcast analyst. I'm still a sports broadcast okay. analyst. I cover uh, PBA games and in basketball events, sporting events. So I've been doing that, but uh, you know, also business, you know, network marketing um, is definitely something that has become a big part of our lives yeah. since uh, 2019. If you are going to choose in these three awards, what will you pick and why? Sure. Attitude, leadership, or skills? I think it all starts with the attitude. Um, and I'm just going to go back to basketball uh, uh -huh. on this one because I can't tell you how many players that I've seen come and go. They had the talent, they had the skill, yeah. um, but their attitude was just horrible and they didn't last very long. The good attitude, the positive attitude came with, with the, the leaderships and skills that he possessed. You know, wow, so, yeah. that's great. What, yeah. what an answer, what a powerful wisdom coming from uh, uh, one of the legendary basketball player here in the Philippines. Wow. Thank you so much Thank for this so interview, Ali. We that. really appreciate you, you and I really appreciate you because of this uh, interview. I have lots of, uh, you know, knowledge that uh, 
I, I feel like I'm one who's uh, playing the basketball yeah. <laughs> right now. <laughs> Guys, I had a great time in this interview. My name is Ali Peak. This is Brian Pinto. Please subscribe to his channel. Okay, guys, if you are learning in this channel, all you have to do is just to click that bell button and make sure you subscribe. Ka. Bakit ka mo? Dahil marami ka matututunan. You've got, you, you will learn a lot of things in this channel and in this vlog. Thank you for supporting this one. Yeah, ba? Hello, mga kaya mates guys. Sa lupit ng na-interview ko kanina, one of the star player ng PBA, di ba? Kung mahilig ka mag-basketball dyan or mahilig ka sa sports. Guys, good news, no? Kahit celebrity, artist ka na, okay, ang malupit nito, involved din siya sa negosyo or industry ng network marketing. And you know what? Ali Pit, the network company or networking company. Okay, so guys, remember, sa industry natin, Okay, tama yung mga pinagsasabi ni Ali na patience, importante yan, attitude ang pinaka-importante sa negosyong to. Kasi gumaganda lang isang opportunity, kapag yung taong nagtitimon o may hawak nito, maganda yung attitude, lalago ang negosyo mo. So embrace the process, trust the process, at higit sa lahat, trust the system. Okay? So once again guys, kung meron kaming naidulot na maganda sa'yo, lalo na tong channel na to at video na to, all you have to do is just to smash that likes, Okay, don't hesitate to get that likes and click that bell button. Bakit ka mo? Kasi para notified ka rin naman sa mga upcoming videos ko. Alright, so guys, we'll see you. This is Brian G. The Place to Be, your daily dose of energy. Yeah, ba!